Dried reindeer meat and cheese dunked in coffee is maybe one of Lapland's most peculiar culinary traditions. So when I smell it, I smell the coffee, of course, but when I taste it, Mm, it's a very rich flavor and a little bit creamy from the cheese. And then we have the, we have the reindeer meat with the fat. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit salty and smoke. And the fat is just filled of flavor. For more than 30 years, Eva Gunare has lived in Jokmok, the center of the Sami culture in Sweden. She researches the culinary traditions of the Samis. The indigenous people of Scandinavia have always lived here, close to the Arctic Circle, where the temperature often falls below minus 20 degrees Celsius. For the people here in the north, it's always been um, two things. It's about keeping warm and it's to get energy. So, of course, sweet things were not easy to, to find, but you could always milk the reindeer. And also, uh, the tradition of drying the reindeer meat is very, very long and very old. Uh, and that is also, it's, it's good to have it dry, but when you put it in the coffee, you get the heat and you get the energy. This is where the coffee cheese is made, in Vularim. The farm has about 80 fjell, a Swedish breed of mountain cattle that has been threatened with extinction due to its low milk yield. For the past couple of years, agricultural specialist Gabriela Lundgren has been working with the cows here. The milk, it's um, more fat than in normal cow milk and it's a, a special protein which is called kappa casein, which makes um, g very good cheese out of it. And it's, I mean, it's a tradition also to make this uh, kaffe ost, the coffee cheese from these, uh, these cows. And this is rosa, <laughs> little rosa. <laughs> the production starts off like it would with any other cheese. However, the special thing about the coffee cheese is that instead of maturing on the shelves, it's baked in the oven and sometimes even smoked. Usually the coffee cheese only has a thickness between one and three centimeters. Here, some 800 kilos of coffee cheese are produced on a yearly basis. I know when people from other countries have tasted it, they say, this is not a cheese. But it, it's, it is a cheese, but it's very different from others. This tastes like fresh, creamy milk. A little bit sweet, I would say. And uh, it has this, uh, when we are chewing on it, like, and that's very, very important. If you not hear this noise in your teeth, it's not coffee cheese. It's time for a coffee break, or a fika, as the Swedes say. The average Swedish person drinks a lot of coffee, more than three cups a day. And in the cold of Lapland, coffee is best enjoyed in the crisp air, freshly brewed over an open fire. As we have these long winters, long, sometimes cold and dark winters, as soon as the sky is so clear and the sun is shining, we want to be outside. And of course, coffee is the most important thing. You don't have to have so much to eat, but coffee, it's very important. Coffee and cheese is a tradition for us. It's like uh, the taste of my childhood. I think about my grandmother and uh, grandfather when I, when I uh, eat the, the coffee cheese. Traditionally, the Samis have also enjoyed reindeer meat with their coffee. Easy to carry, the dried meat was always a staple for the nomads. But in the extreme cold, it would sometimes freeze, making it hard to eat without first softening it with a warm beverage. When you put the reindeer meat in it, uh, the reindeer meat, which is dried and salty, it gets a little bit uh, of salty flavor to the coffee, but then it also gets warm. And uh, when we are cold outside, which we are <laughs> many times in the year, it's so nice to have the warm meat. So. Coffee cheese and reindeer meat, a special tradition from the icy cold region of Northern Europe. Thank you.